Hi, I'm a painter. My name is Sierra. This is my studio and this is my paintbrush. I'm gonna show you all my stuff. There's a lot of stuff, but it's also a small room, so maybe that's why. It's not really, it's not me, is it? I'm not a creative hoarder. No. Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyway, welcome. So my studio is in the basement. First part of getting down there, taking the stairs. Welcome to my tiny little basement studio. This is my desk with all my stuff on it. I've got mediums, mirrors, paper towels, scissors, rulers, water, some palettes, color palettes up on the wall there for future projects, and then all of my sorted brushes. They look so nice. I've also got some little dishes for water, mineral spirits, the like, timer, and all my sketchbooks. I'm gonna have to do a tour soon. I keep all my receipts in here for an inevitable tax season, I guess. This is a picture of me, my grandma, my great grandma, and my mom, and then me and my mom. We're so cute. And me, my brother, mom. Lots of paper, rags, palettes, and more miscellaneous papers, stickers, staples, tape, things I use on a regular basis. Now, underneath this beautiful desk are all the things that I don't really have space for, so I'll show you. That big cardboard thing is a drawing I have framed. This is my paper blender, my minion sculptures, my heater because it gets cold, my garbage can, my tub of gesso, my recycling bin, and then some oil painting supplies that I had taken out into the garage so I could have no fumes. This is my wall of other people's art and my calendar. And then as we pan across the room, I've got a movie poster from Yuppie Doo. I think it looks hilarious. And that flower is something I painted. And then this box is full of painting storage as well. This is a work in progress uh, sitting on top of my drawers. The first drawer is kind of miscellaneous. I've got some business cards, some change, some stickers. Next up are my markers. This first box is miscellaneous, and then the one back there is Copics and Prismacolor alcohol-based markers. Next, I've got my tape drawer, twine, more rulers, washi tape, you know, and then some mailers for sending out small pieces. Next up are my pencil crayons, my gouache, my watercolor, my pastels. I love this container. I got it from the thrift store. It's so funky. This is my printmaking drawer. So I've got some stamps that I've carved, some rollers, and then in that pouch is a travel watercolor kit. This is my first drawer of acrylic paints. I've been painting with acrylics the longest and it's definitely my biggest collection of paint. So these are all my heavy body tubes. Got a, quite a variety in there. Move my broom. This is my high flow acrylics. I adore them. If you haven't tried them, they're so versatile. It's so interesting. They're like ink, really, really cool. And then finally we've got the big tubs of paint. I don't use these as much. I should probably <laughs> bring them out a little more often. And then the bottom drawer is empty, ready and available for some new art supply that I have yet to meet. To the right of my drawers, I have some paper storage. I have some portfolios for uh, carrying work around with me. And um, a lot of this was inherited from other artists. They're really big sketchbooks and super cool to work with. And then this watercolor paper is from my great grandma. On the left-hand side, I've got more painting storage. I've got some panels, some small canvases, some things I've been working on. Some paper back here is my plein air easel and stool for when I go biking. I can set up. It's lightweight and easy. 
tons of frames, my trusty tripod. And then in this filing container, I have paper painting storage. So let's pop it open. I've got it all organized by labels. And if you, let's pull something out. You can find what you're looking for pretty easily. I wanna keep working on this piece, so I'm gonna take it out. And then back here is my magazine collection for collage work. I've got lots of interesting range of magazines. Of course, gotta have National Geographic. Who doesn't remember making collages in elementary school from tons of National Geographics? And then beside my desk, I've got more canvas storage. Some of these are finished works. Some of these are just plain. And then of course, even more canvas. Oh, I really need to get painting. I have so much work to do, so many materials. I've got my French easel back here. I don't use it that much. It's a little too heavy, but it's cool. This is my easel that my dad brought home for me from the elementary school that he works at. It's great, it's super heavy duty. And underneath it, I've got a couple smaller ones that I'm hoping to use for a future paint night with my family. I think it'd be really fun. This is a work in progress on another easel I have. And then of course, my trusty dolly. I've got my hair dryer that has become a paint dryer. And in these drawers are various tools. I've got a compass, lots of different mark making tools. Everything's got a different texture. I've got microns, gel pens, you need to have the variety when you're sketching. And then I've got my paper cutter, some sandpaper for smoothing things out. On the second shelf, I've got some varnish, both spray and glossy paintable version and a workable fixative. I make sure I use those outside though. They are aerosol. Then there's some flow trawl back there for pouring paint and clean rakes for future projects. Then down here are excerpts from past sketchbooks, notebooks, scrapbooks, all little pieces of my past that I pull out for inspiration. For example, this is from my high school math notebook. Pretty cool. So we'll slide that back in there and you've seen it all. This is what it looks like when I'm working down here. Got my lamp on. And yes, that's a smock for when things get super messy. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, right? I love coming in here. Anyways, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer your questions about my creative process, about what I do know, what I don't know, what I'm into, what you're into. Let me know, girl. I have big dreams for my studio. I visualize where I'd like to be when I'm 50. Maybe later than that, I don't know how long it'll take me to get places in my life, but I have a visualization for how I want things to evolve. This is the current iteration, so we'll see what the future studio tours look like. And yeah, hit a girl up. Give me a like, give me a follow, give me a shout out if you want. I don't know. I don't want to force you to do anything. If you like what you see, you can follow along. I'm gonna keep doing this. 